Hi guys, this is All Things Cupcake 2000, and today I have a mini charm update for you, so let's get started. First, I have the Swiss roll that I did a tutorial on, and it has a little cherry with whipped cream, and so it looks like this. Next, I have this little sushi, and it looks like this. And it's really, really cute, I think. Um, then I have this little traffic cone, and I forgot who inspired me. But I think it's really cute. So I did the clay eyes, and I painted the whites on the eyes. So that little traffic cone. And next, I have this Nyanko cat. Nyan Nyanko cat, or Nyan Nyan cat. I don't know how you would pronounce it, but this Nyanko cat little cake, and it's really, really textured on the sides. And it has strawberry and vanilla filling, and the top is just the filling chopped up with chocolate and vanilla icing on top. So that is really cute, I think. And I got the idea for Froggy Pecal, but of course it's not as good as hers. And the next thing I have is this Mama Goma on a donut, which is adorable. Um, the Mama Goma is really cute, and it's on a chocolate donut with white um, sprinkles, and you could even see the little tail. And this is probably the size of my index finger, my ring finger, I mean. Um, next thing I have is this little kind of weird macaroon. I don't really like how the face turned out, but yeah, I need a glaze the back side still too so that may be one reason I don't really like it and the next thing I have is this relicuma cookie or biscuit type thing that is filled with chocolate icing and the top is TLS with micro marbles and it is textured also so is that and I also have um, this little bread, and it's a French bread loaf, and it is textured and shaded, and it is really, really cute. It's the size of, like, one of my segment segments of fingers. Probably the ring finger, yeah, the segment of my ring finger. One segment, that kind of doesn't make sense, but <laughs> anyways, um kind of rambling but first then I have to go with that this little bread basket and the bread just simply goes in like that next I have this donut ring that is inspired by Max Dermooch and it turned out really orange pink and I just did it with light a light pink color and I guess it turned that way in the oven so and it has purple micro marbles and I don't really like the coloring but I think it's cute anyways and it only fits on my pinky finger I wanted it to fit on this ring finger but it didn't I still think it's cute though and the idea I got from Maximooch as I said um the next thing that I have is this friendship cookie and um one of the sprinkles fell off while I was trying to up do this video for my second time but this is my third time so I'm kind of mad but the sprinkle is right there so one of them just fell off and it's purple and lime green it's actually way darker I mean it's not lime green but it just detaches like this and it just simply goes back like that so that is a friend of charm and the next thing I have are these two cupcake earrings and I'm not very happy with these because I got TLS all over the base of the cupcake. Um, I'm just moving position there. So it looks like these and um, yeah the sides are textured right here too. So yeah, and then the top is like this. Here, I'll just show you one. The top is like this, and it has yellow sprinkles with purple micro marbles. So 
So all the both of the tops look like that. And the next thing I have is a Skitty Charm. And I did this for Skitty Charms contest. So it looks like this. And it look, pretty much looks like Skitty. I think I did a good job um, making a figurine of her. And then the next thing I have is this pendant, but the pendant thing broke off. And this is also a Pokemon, and his name is Snorlax, or something like that, Snorlax. Snorlax, or <laughs> I have no clue, but he's not this color. He's actually a dark green teal color. This is more of like a turquoise that it's showing up on camera. Um, but anyways, yeah, and his little claws took me a long time, but I think he's overall pretty, really cute. Um, next I have this black forest cake inspired by Funky Bink Girl, and the two cherries on the side fell off the stems. But, yeah, so it looks like that, and it's really textured in the inside. Um, the next thing I have is this cake, and it just looks like this. It's a pretty plain cake. Um, it's supposed to be, like, fondant on the top, but, yeah, it looks like that in the inside. And then the last charm I have to show you is this ice cream Neapolitan snowman stack. And I got the idea from Vanilla Street Sweet Cakes, I think. So the top is the cutest, I think. It is a vanilla ice cream scoop with a little face. And it looks so cute. And the faces are all clay. And the next one is a pink. And it's mad because it's in the middle. And then the third one is a happy chocolate. I mean, chocolate ice cream scoop. So I think they're really, really cute. This is like my favorite charm, basically, one of my favorite charms that I made. And next I have this pretty big figurine, or I don't know what you would call it, but yeah. Anyway, so first it has a chocolate bar, and an extra cherry pie, and this donut, and a cake slice, and a chocolate ice cream scoop with white chocolate drizzle. So that, and I did glaze it and paint it with acrylic paints. <laughs> I didn't do the back though. Well, I just painted the back pink. But anyways, so I have that. And then I have, I don't know if I showed this in a charm update before, but if I haven't, this bracelet. Wait, I have, so yeah. I mean, anyways, um, I have, I just remembered I did. So this is all things Cupcake 8000, and this is my charm update. So have a nice day, and I hope you like my charms. Don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe.